uh, for working centers, big for working in service stations. Wes said that was something he's pretty open with you guys about. Like just having conversations about, you know, keeping stuff open. Have you guys had talks about any changing roles or minutes changing? Like, what's that been like when you pulled in those guys in? I mean, we're all aware of the situations of uh, good players coming back and the rotation being longer. Uh, I don't think we need to really talk about it. I mean, it's the, in the end of the day, it's the coach's decision. I mean, we have a uh, competition. And I think it's good. It gets the best out of everybody. And um, we're able to use more players and, and, and save some guys or, like, you know, really divide the minutes um, that no player going to get burned out, that everybody going to get their, you know, rest. And we have, you know, very long season. So I think it's also a positive side. Uh, of course, everybody, including myself, want to be uh, as, as many minutes on the court as possible and to help the team as much as possible. But sometimes, even if you get 15 minutes, 20 minutes, on those 15, 20 minutes, you need to do your role and to do your role the best you can. So. I know it's just as much practice as you've done, but what has it been like without playing here? Is anything noticeably different, I guess? Uh, yeah, Wes, of course, he's, he's the main coach. Um, you really feel that he's not here, but we have a great uh, group of coaches around him that really does a great job of of knowing how to prepare us for games. And I mean, they all work work together very good. So I feel like uh, Wes also did a great job. Like uh, if he gives um, if he gives other coaches any instruction or something, like we we are one unit. So I feel like you know he's missing, but. Uh, hopefully everybody will step up and we'll get this win. Um, I, th I think I got more mature uh, in my game in general, more experienced, um, being more aggressive, attacking the pain, creating more for others. Um, my shot been up and down, you know, some days it's better, some days it's a little bit off, but um, overall, just got stronger. I feel overall a better player. Like I can't name you one thing that's very obvious. Coach Sean Silvers talked about how your defensive improvement might relate to you understanding personnel more. I know you had mentioned that last season, trying to learn the personnel. How has that helped you just kind of know guys around the league more when you get last chance? It's just knowing the tendencies when you defend them. Like in my first year, I wasn't really experienced. Like. Some of the players that I got today, I've got it last year. So I got it before. And it really helps me to understand, like, how big they are on the court, how strong they are, and really adjust my defense and my physicality depending on them. So just overall, you know, gaining gain, gain experience and, and, being, and being better and knowing personnel more. So it helps me a lot. In addition to uh, having space on your show, have you learned anything about just I've seen I, I'm seeing more videos I'm seeing more film about the, the players before I play them like last year I didn't really do that this year I, I, I really do and and I know their tendencies we have as I said like if they go right more if they go left more I see a lot of clips of them playing I know what they're what they're capable of and just taking the challenge you know in the end of the day You, you mean as a team? Uh, I guess for you, for you as a team and for you. Uh, working like on my game, kind of. I think also like if there's a day in between games, I'm coming in. No, I'm coming in and, and putting the work sometimes. Like even though like I play some minutes and, you know, I'm a little bit tired. I need to get this work done to to prepare for the next game to I f like to feel like I'm sharp. Like I can't just, you know, stay off basketball and like completely, you know, there's also smart working and, you know, how to rest good. I think it's very important. Like I develop every day and I feel that and we develop every day as a team. And I, and I, and you feel that like any, any chance of players coming into gym and getting better, uh, like days we have off, like they'll do it. So just keep going. You work a lot with Pat Dinwiddie. Mm -hmm. uh, what's he like? Me and Pat has a have a really good relationship. Uh, 
we like to talk uh, not only on basketball and also a lot of things on life and stuff. Yeah, he's a, he's a really smart uh, guy and coach, and I think I'm learning from him a lot. And um, you know, we we just love working together. So, what can I say? Well, I'm going to try to draw you out a little bit. I have people I work with. I'm not that tight, but. I feel like just spending the time together. I mean, he knows what what are my what what are my stuff that I need to prove, and he he's not afraid to tell me the truth. Like if I if I play bad, if I did something wrong, if like he'll never come in and like try to like um always like give me compliments just so I'll feel good. He'll he'll tell me the truth, and and this and and that's very important for for a coach, especially that the coach that works with you a lot. It, is to tell you the truth and tell you what, what you need to improve on. And, and I think he does that very good. And I, and I respect it about him. Neil. Hey, Denny. Um, I know you joked with us a couple of weeks ago that, you know, when you started playing one-on-one -on -one with Kyle is when, you know, he kind of had his up uh, tick in play. I'm curious, have you joked it with him at all about that? What, what do you mean? That once he started playing one on one, you know he's been putting together a lot of really good performances. Have you told him that and seen his reaction by chance? Um, yeah, he he was like, like we all we joked about it before, and um, it, it was funny. But you know, we just want to keep it going. So hopefully, Kuz, you know, he's he's been playing a lot of minutes lately, so he's a little bit off the one on ones. But hopefully, we can come back to it and, and grind more and him continuing playing good for us so now obviously between you know Kuz, Rui, Davis you know a lot of you guys have similar-ish position types I'm curious you know now that all of you guys are back in the gym have you tried to take anything you know from their games to help improve your game? I think every player has his own strengths so I don't need to take like I mean you can see some that you like on their game but you know, if if it's not your game, like let's say I like Stephen Curry step back from from four point range, am, am I gonna take it? No, I mean, everybody got their own abilities, and and I know what I'm capable of, and I know what what is benefit for my game, and um, you know that, that that's about it. I'm just gonna stick to what I know and what I what I do best, and yeah, you know, on the summers I can add some things, but not during the season. Thanks, Danny. You're welcome. Alexander. Hi, then. was wondering what do you think about the season uh, so far? And are there any particular teams, for example, next few games that you consider kind of more difficult, or do you just take it sort of one game at a time, so to speak? I, I'm really going one game at a time. Like every opponent for us, like I'm focusing on 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 the next opponent. I'm, I never look. Oh, we play him and like this team on like couple of days like I'm always in the moment so we have Portland right now uh, they're missing some guys but they're very good like they can they can be a very uh a very good team and um of course we need to stay focused and uh just stay focused on tonight yep just wondering also since I report for TV in Serbia also do you follow some of the players in NBA from Serbia like Nikola Jokic from the Nuggets of course of course um you know, my dad played in Serbia. Um, I grew up. I saw a lot of players coming from Serbia to the NBA as, as I was little, and I went to see them in, in Partizan, Cerna Zvezda, all the all the all the teams they came from. And um, you no, know, now I'm now I'm 21, and I'm I'm at the same floor with them in the NBA. So it's a little bit exciting, yeah, for sure. That's great. And how did you get used to life in Washington D.C.? I was playing uh, basketball in, in Washington. Washington is a great city. I think um, it has a great culture all around. Like the, I think the city love, loves basketball. I mean, uh, our gym is, is packed quite some time. So I just just love the environment and love the people. And um, about it. Thank you. Christos? Hey, Danny. Hope you're doing well. Speaking about the leadership, uh, 
in uh, your last season in Maccabi, you showed some leadership uh, skills. So uh, do you feel this season that you are stepping into a bigger and more important role in the team? Definitely, definitely. Um, especially with COVID, um, I had to come in bigger roles and um, I feel more responsibility. Um, older, I'm more experienced, um, you know, and like, and, and people and, and coaches and the players expect from me more. So uh, just staying ready at all times, do my job as best as I can, going on the court and just to help, help the team win. So in the end of the day, I just don't want to overthink it. So. And do you see any kind of similarities between Coach Anselt and Coach Feropoulos on the way that uh, they you play for them? Both really defensive-minded coaches uh, really really like to work on defense and talk about defense, and uh, their defensive tactics are very um, specific. And um, yeah, I see I see a little bit sometimes similarities, but like you know, every coach has his own uh, path, his own way, and I enjoy both worlds. So, thank you very much. Thank you. You're on. Um, hey, Danny, um, can I switch to Hebrew or still uh, people want to ask the me? The flip, the with the <laughs> Okay, I'm changing to Hebrew. What is it, Danny? What's going on, Aaron? It's all right. First of all, let's finish the Arab and Moreshet Yehudi. Yes. I'm really happy. I saw a lot of Israelis in the house. Um, גם שירים, גם, uh, גם קהל, גם שפה, כאילו הכל כזה פתאום, אתה יודע, גם על המסכים עברית, פתאום אתה מרגיש כאילו, אתה מרגיש בבית. הצלחת לקלוט על המסכים את השמות בעברית. Um, בטח, שאלתי את המאמנים <laughs> אפילו, מה, אני אתן להם 100 דולר, הם יגידו לי מה זה אומר שם, אז הרווחתי <laughs> <laughs> כמה, הרווחתי <laughs> כמה <laughs> דולרים. Uh, מקצועית, uh... במשחק האחרון ראינו חמישה אסיסטים, ולפני mm-hmm. איזה שבוע וחצי גם היה לך איזה משחק עם שמונה אסיסטים. Mm-hmm. מה צריך לקרות, אתה חושב, בשביל שנראה את זה יותר, שאתה מקבל את הכדור ואתה יודע, המסירות האלה, זיפינג? <אח> תקשיב, אני מוכן לכל מצב, לכל תרחיש. אני נהנה לייצר בשביל אחרים. נהנה לייצר בשביל אחרים, נהנה להיות עם הכדור. חלק מהמשחקים יש לי יותר הזדמנות וחלק פחות, אבל אתה יודע, אני תמיד מוכן... מוכן לסיטואציות ולמצבים. כמובן שאני נהנה להיות גם יותר מעורב התקפית, אני מאמין שהיכולות שלי הן טובות ואני יכול באמת להיות יותר ויותר מעורב, ואני מרגיש יותר ויותר נוח על המגרש, שהיה לי את השבוע הלא פשוט הזה, ואני חושב שאני מאחוריו, אתה יודע, הייתי קצת תשוש, קצת, אתה יודע, הרגשתי שהגעתי לאיזשהו קיר מבחינת משחקים. ועכשיו כזה אני מרגיש יותר מאושש, יותר שמח, יותר, עם יותר מצב רוח, אז אני מאמין שבאמת אני מאחורי זה. ורק להמשיך להיות עם ביטחון ולשחק, זהו.